The latest geophysical maps of the Reconus Peninsula, where the new eruption is expected, it shows that the magma is not only present, which is not surprising because we have the power station there, but it's moving laterally. The shape of it is changing. So it is flowing. The depth is yet 5 kilometers to 4 kilometers, but it's now flowing sideways. And as you can see, the development of it is very interesting, is moving and uh, spreading. It takes a while, actually. The tilt of the uh, land is increasing in a way, but it takes a while that something like a uh, exolution happened. Exolution means that the uh, volcano or magma at the depth actually expel its uh, volatiles, its gaseous material, uh, and then that will create a pressure that rises the magma near the surface, finding an easy pathway, crack, pulverized, fault line as we call it, and then through that coming up. It's not as simple as the normal eruptions, something like the Klyachevskaya or Mount St. Helens. It's the veins of the magma flowing around, you see in this 3D model, uh, moving around and creating uh, different areas, filling all the gaps, all the cracks. This is the actual scene you are seeing from the surface. I will put the link for this so you can actually follow these uh, cameras. This is expected to happen in this area, and we already know the cracks on the surface suggest that this area was active in the past. We see craters there. This area was eruption happening there in the 13th century, and we're expecting something like this. Because it is volatile-rich, we already have the evidence for water in that area. It will be violent and actually not a tourist attraction as it was. As Gilfie Gilferson has said, who is doing the um, thermal imaging of this area, I encourage him to do it every day or every time that he can because we want to see the change, not just a cross-section in time. That will be a really interesting development to see that this will be a dangerous volcano, a very big uh, fissure eruption probably.